Hey guys, this is Noel on PC, or as you know me, the VP of the Experimental Research Division. So, um, I probably should have come up with something to do before I started the video. Lesson learned. Um, okay, what we're going to do, we're going to try something I've never been able to do, and that is the solar plane. I've never had success with uh, getting the thing off the ground and then providing enough propulsion to actually sort of keep going. It just always fails. It always runs out of juice. It always runs out of thrust, is what I should say. Not power. The power isn't the problem. I can make enough electricity. But it always weighs too much. And see, here's part of the problem. It's like this thing weighs 0.1 total mass unit. So I'm already at like a quarter of, I think it's basically a, a full one, one unit of mass, I believe is a ton. So we're in like a quarter ton already of gas, I think. Um, now what we want to do is we want, we want a lot of the weight right over the middle, that's where the wings are going to be, and then two legs are going to come back with the thrusters in the back, so let's let's keep the fuselage short. Stick a couple of these little guys on the side. Um, sure thing again, where's the weight needing to be? This game knows you can never have enough structural ties. Good enough. Yes, good enough. The moniker, the slogan of the Kerbal Space Program's Experimental Research Division is of course good enough. It's literally written on the sign on the way into the technology park here at the Kerbal Space Program. There we go. Okay. Do I really need two? No. But how much of these weigh? 0.02? Yeah, it's not really a lot of weight. So I'm willing to take the chance. Um, no, no. Yep, there we go. Okay, now we want them pretty far back. How far back can we get them? Where is the center of mass? That's not awful, actually. Even in its kind of ugly stock form like this, it's, um... Yeah, it's looking okay. I think this thing, this thing may very well fly. Um, let's not get our hopes up too much, but... I have... a hunch that this may actually work. Doesn't like these fins. Let's just pull these off temporarily. There we go. So I'm hoping two of those may very when in doubt, control Z. And then just sell the thing that was in the middle. There we go. Control Z is universal edit undo. Good looking drone. That is a good looking drone. Okay, two engines. Two engines at 45. They need 45 per minute? No, they need 12 per second. So I have to make 24 per second. So these guys make just under one per second. So I'll need at least, fuck, like 30 of them. God damn it. Okay, let's get started here. So we're basically just gonna stick them everywhere that the sun shines. Start with the nose. That's good real estate. Yeah, good enough. Good enough. Now, if you start putting them over top of each other, they don't work. If if one blots another one out, it will fail. Um, unfortunately, there's really no cheating that system because it is about um, surface exposure to the light. It's not about just how many you have on the unit, otherwise you could just basically stack them all one on top of the other, 
put them right in a nice centralized weight location, it would be easy peasy. I'm sure there are mods you can get if you wish to just cheat. I'm sure there's a mod you can get that makes like a little, you know, basically weightless little nuclear generator or something like that. It'll provide basically free power to you so that you can just make this craft and just get it off the ground, do whatever the fuck you want. But I, of course, for your guys' sake, I know you all want to see me try and play the game as legit as possible. So that's what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to try and use stock parts whenever I can, unless it's just funner to do so otherwise. of our power from, as we can get at least probably 20 out of the wings. Good so far. How many do we have there? Three, six, seven, eight. And that is nine. And ten makes 20 on the wings. So we got like 30. 30 should be enough to power them, I think. I think. If not, let's just throw for good measure. Throw a couple on the old back edge here. enough power. Okay, now we need some kind of an attachment system. Um, yeah, okay. I got an idea. Oop, oop. I'm just going to grab one of those big old stand-up decouplers, one of those big tall ones. Yeah, one of these guys. A single one. Mount it as far back as we can, because that's where all the weight is. Then we're going to stick a little gas can on it. I'm going to put a little rocket on it some wheels on it, and that's what's going to get us up to speed. How does that look? Does that look okay? Let's see, where's the weight? Kind of at the back. Um, there's nothing we can really do about that. What'll happen is the wheels will squat at the back a little bit, and the nose is going to pop up in the air a little bit, which means it'll wheelie really easily. Uh, but obviously there's nothing we can do about that. do that just to be safe. Oh, where's the other ones? <laughs> good, and good. Okay, and just for aesthetics and my OCD, which I don't have. There. Okay. Uh, it's a little tiny propulsion motor. There it is. The little 50 unit guy. There we go. That's looking pretty good. I think that should fly. I suspect it'll fly. If it doesn't, it's going to be hilarious. Catastrophic results, I'm sure. So what do you think, guys? Should give it a try? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm confident that is at least going to glide. So let's see if it actually works. Oh, it's a nice sunny day at Cape Curbanaveral. The Experimental Research Division has rented out the runway for today's activities. And let's see, does it even make enough juice? That makes enough juice to like quarter throttle. That's good. Powering up a bit. Powering up a bit. Oh, nose is up, nose is up. Gotta get the nose down, gotta get the nose down. There we go. We don't want that to happen, otherwise we might have a catastrophic failure, a big destruction. All right.
right, so now we're up to speed. We're going to break away and then get the nose up a bit. Okay, nose down. Oh, we have like some, some natural lift occurring. The plane literally wants to nose up quite a bit. But unfortunately, we are not making enough thrust per lift ratio. So it looks like this is going to be a colossal failure, but we did get off the ground. So yes, we failed at making a solar plane, but we succeeded in making a solar hang glider. Um, so guys, what I want you to do is follow the link up at the top there to get our future videos, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to gently, gently like a, a baby robin, put this down on the ground. Uh, we're going to go salvage the parts, and then we're going to take another crack at the solar plane someday in the near future. So if you subscribe, you'll get the early heads up. You'll get it right into your inbox, pretty much right as it happens. Um, also, give me a comment and tell me what games, like Kerbal Space Program, well, not like Kerbal Space Program, but a user-submitted game, you tell me tell me what game you want me to see, what, you, what game you want me to see me play, because all my games are user-submitted. So if you guys tell me what to play, I'll have more games to play, and I can make you more videos, because that's what I like to do with my spare time. So, guys, until next time, Keep playing and cheers.